welcome to my apartment! apartment i know it's been a long overdue you guys have been requesting to see my apartment for quite some time and you know when i first moved in um i looked at like youtube videos and i know like people like were taking like forever to do their apartment and i was like girl just like hurry up and then i moved in and now i understood why they took so long because let me tell you i'm a perfectionist i have to have everything like look perfect and it's not easy to find things so Without further ado, let's get straight into it. So we're gonna start with the hallway. I live in a studio and it's pretty small in here. So I don't really have like an entryway. I'd rather not put anything here because when I open the door, it's going to slam. So I decided to put it like right here. We're gonna move in right here and zoom here. All my important stuff right here these are the things that I use like all the time so when I go to the gym I listen to music my little bag that I take out and I have my vision board that I just did like in January this year and it's all the things that like are really important to me that I want to achieve you guys see here um share space is kind of like gone <laughs> because um i dropped water <laughs> on it so yeah so for the bins i actually got them from like dollarama and they were like five bucks each and they're really cute it's super like fitting for spring and this bench right here i got it from ikea and it was like 15 bucks this little thing right here okay this little thing i really like it because i actually have another one and i bought it for amazon like two for like 15 dollars I find it really cute where you can put like things that like you kind of need immediately and it's like a really cute like gold cup but I have the other one that I'll show you guys it's in the living room so right across from the entryway that I decided to put right here we have the kitchen area to cook I love to be in there all the time and my little fridge this is like my little timer that i got from amazon you know i just use it if i want to do like you know anything that i need to cook it's easier for me to get a little timer like that because i was always using the timer on my iphone and that was like too much of a hassle so we got this little cute little timer amazon you guys i think like 15 bucks i'm going to link everything in the description below i love to show my fridge because i'm so proud of myself for organizing it this way all of this here i'm actually not even drinking milk anymore because like now i don't do like milk like milk milk anymore like i drink soy milk almond milk my favorite oat milk but this was here from before when I drank and anyways, I didn't throw it yet, so I should. <laughs> and I'm on the diet right now, so like no dairy, no meat, no carbs, no bread, no sugar, no alcohol. If you guys want to know more about this, I have a video on when I did my 22 days Beyonce Coachella diet. And if you guys want to check it out, I'll link it right here. All of this here is actually for my bunny. This is all his salad. I call it salad. It's literally just lettuce, but it's like organic lettuce. I have his carrots right here. And over here, I kind of like, like to place my fresh like herbs, rosemary, thyme, and then I have my asparagus and like I'm almost done with my green onions. But yeah, I am a vegetarian. I have Beyond Meat beef. I have like this pasta made from tofu, which is really cool. I have like vegan cheese. You know, it's kind of a small fridge for me, but we do what we have to do. So right over here, we're going to move to the kitchen counter. I like to drink water a lot in the morning. I have a huge water bottle that I drink and it's like a two liter, like filled up. I drink this every day, but that's just in case like I want like extra water to drink because I always like to drink a lot more water. Drink your water, you guys. These are like bins. This is a Lazuke bin. So it's my favorite macaroon place. I actually got this when I was in Paris. 
and this Kate Spade toaster that I also got from Amazon, which is so cool. And this is a little decoration that says home. I got it from like H&M. The best part about my kitchen is like the decoration that I put all over here. So it's like green leaves because I really like it to be like earthy and fresh and organic. And since, you know, I am a vegetarian, like all I do is cook with a lot of vegetables, lot of, lots of fruits. So I really like my kitchen to be this way and I decorate it this way. Living room, it's a completely different vibe. <laughs> because it's not so earthy, that's all I can say. So when we move over here, I have all my spices. I love to, you know, I can't eat anything without spices. I'm a spice queen, like I need to spice it up. So I have all my spices displayed right in front of me. Right here, I have my pink kettle. This is actually the base of like how I started like decorating my entire kitchen. So I really wanted a pink kettle. And then I decided to get a pink toaster and then just make it like a little more spring-ish. And I just like really like it vibrant in here. So that's my little kettle that I got from Amazon as well. I have my little magic bullet right here because I like to do myself some fresh smoothies in the morning and then all my dishes here. Even though I have a dishwasher, mm -hmm. I don't use this because I like to do my own dishes. I know I'm very housewife, I know. Oh, it ain't clean them, so. What did I say? Let's make these okay. plates for these men. But that's how I like to do it. So never use this in my life. Wait, no, I take that back. I used this one time just to see like how it was gonna go. And just to say like I tried it and it literally like took over one hour to like do like some basic dishes that I could have done in five minutes. So anyways, that's all to say I don't use this. I clean my own dishes like a true housewife. I have the sink right here. I have all my cupboards, pantry, kind of boring to go over. Last really interesting thing I want to show you guys in my kitchen is my weekly meal planner. I actually plan this every single week because I am really careful about what I eat. And it's really important for me to like not be so spontaneous because back when I used to eat meat and back when I used to be a carnivore, I used to eat just anything and I just felt really dizzy all the time and like really weak and I didn't feel good. So I kind of made like 180 and this is actually really helpful. I don't remember where I got it from. I think from Pinterest, you can just write weekly meal planner, printable free, and you guys can find anything. Like you guys can find anything like that and just print it out. This is really a lifesaver, you guys. If ever you don't know what to cook, you don't know what to do, just write out your weekly meal planner, look in your fridge, whatever you have, and you can cook up some really good recipes. Pinterest always helps. Right here we have the laundry area. So I'm just gonna really like do a like quickly a tour. All my stuff here and I have my bunny things here. And then this is all my supply for like my tea business. Yeah, so that's all we have to show. Louis, hi. You wanna say hi, Louis? Hi, baby. Hi, pretty boy. Hi, pretty boy. Hi, Prince Louis. You wanna say hi to the camera? You want to say hi <laughs> the bathroom so i just want to show you guys really quick what it looks like i have the shower right here i actually don't have a bathtub unfortunately but it is what it is i have a little asymmetrical sink that i absolutely hate because i don't like things that are not symmetrical as you can see it's not symmetrical so i had to literally put these here to kind of make it look a little bit better just have soap my towels i got a set like 30 dollars from like winners and that's it nothing really cool to see here and look at my bunny he wants to follow me in the bathroom where he is not supposed to be come on buddy come on uh -uh. oh great so this is the little kitchen a dining area <laughs> small space to work in i only have like this little table that i bought from wayfair and i have these wooden chairs right here that i got from my parents place i am replacing them soon here i like to um always put some fresh flowers so i do have some fresh flowers right now with my little candle and i have my tea right here that's it for the dining area so now we're just gonna go quickly over my bedroom i am in a studio so everything is one room but i just want to go quickly over it so this is my bed 
I hate my bed. I got it from Wayfair. I would never like, I hate this bed so much. So anyways, I'm replacing it. But this is just to show you guys, that's my bed and that's it. Absolutely no magic is happening in this bed right now. So yeah. I also forgot to mention that here it's really important for me um to have this icon right here of saint mary with um sweet baby jesus because i've had this since i was four and i am a very religious person and this is actually has a lot of meaning for me actually really emotional for me to talk about but maybe one day i will share this with you guys and now here is the best part about my apartment the living room It's actually the first tea that I ever made. It's like my best seller. It's called Her Royal Majesty. It's like the best creamy afternoon tea you will ever have. This I actually got from Ikea and it was like 15 bucks and cute deco. Over here I have Louis's bed. Actually he never sleeps in this bed. He just likes to hop in it and just play. But I did buy this bed. Um, I had it custom made from an Etsy seller in like Russia. I feel like it's just there for decoration so it is what it is so moving on to here this is actually like really cool space that i put here it's one of those like greek like roman columns when i found them on this instagram vintage seller i knew immediately that i had to have them and i bought them for like i think they were like 60 or 80 dollars each I believe her name was beverly vintage i honestly got almost all of my living room stuff from vintage sellers just because I love a vintage feel. I just love to have like this Parisian, like chic royal vibe. So this is what we have here. We have those two columns. And then for my huge ass TV, <laughs> I had just literally put whatever was um, the leaves in the kitchen. So they're all fake. And I just decided to decorate them. And it kind of looks very like Greek-ish. So that's what we have here. And also I got my mirror. So I got my mirror from a local vintage shop and I think that this comes from Turkey and I paid like 30 bucks for it. These are really cool. This is actually vintage as well. And I got this from Chapter Fun. I'm going to look her Instagram. This is a statue of Aries. Aries is my favorite Greek god. I am a Leo, but my moon is an Aries. So if any of you guys know, you know about the chart and astrology, this is this is why I got him because he represents me a lot. He's my favorite Greek god. This I got it from another Instagram seller. And these two um, bookends, I got them from another Instagram seller. Her name is Dodo Bazaar. That's it for this part. So now when we move over to the other side, right behind or right next to, I should say, my TV, my little bunny's area. Oh my god, I already stopped on his stuff. Okay, I made him a little space and it's pretty extra because you duh. I have his litter box right here. He actually just topped this. So if you guys see some hay, it's because he just topped out of his litter box. And then I have his food bowl right here. I got this from Helping Pet. So that's all his stuff right here. I put like his some of his toys and like little Chanel bags and then his grooming supplies on the other my little Prince Louis bunny area and then when we move over to this side this is my living room so I got this chair from Squig Tooth 
and I just spray painted it gold because it matches with my living room. I love me some gold creams and whites. This is actually the aesthetic of my living room. I bought this table right here. Um, I have this table and then this table and it came with another one. So three of them. I bought them from Kijiji from another seller and they were like 150 bucks. I was like, oh my God, sold, like just deliver them to me. And here we go, here they are. A vintage um, from another Instagram seller that I will link right here. And then I just have the, my little five minute journal that I write in every single morning and every single night. It really helps with um, productivity. Also got this beautiful mirror from Structus. If you guys know, Anthropology has these mirrors and they have like the huge ones and then the little ones. Unfortunately, they don't ship to Montreal. So I had to like find something else and I just like looked everywhere and I just couldn't find a mirror that I liked. And then when they started making these, I was like, oh my God, I need to buy that. When I looked online, it was sold like the gold one. So I just decided one day to like go in the store and then I saw this mirror right here. The guy was like, oh, there's this girl. She didn't come. And you know, it's right here if you want to have it. Oh my God, here's my card, charge it. Thank you, it's mine. This is the story of how I got my beautiful strict suit mirror. So over here, I really like this area because I actually did not buy any of this. I was like, I'm not about to buy like 50 bucks for each of these like fake books, like fake designer books. So I just decided to design them myself. So DIY, you guys. I can actually make a video if you guys want on how I did this. A vintage seller on Instagram as well. And this is my candle, which is Diptyque. It's my favorite candle. I decided to put some of my jewelry in here. And here I got this vase from Ikea, which is like 15 bucks. I decided to like throw some flowers in it. Actually, the other coop that we saw from the entrance. And I just decided to put like some fake flowers in it. And voila. Here we are. This is my favorite area. I love to sit here. Got this sofa from Wayfair. I actually, I know it doesn't look like it, but I can assemble things on my own, but I can. And I did assemble this and it took me like three hours to assemble it, but here it is. It's a beautiful couch. You guys are going to wonder who the hell is this? This is my favorite queen. It's Queen Elizabeth I. I'm obsessed with her. I think she's such a badass queen. She did so much and she went against everybody and she was just like, she didn't need no man to help her. So that's why I have her right here. Tell him if he wants to shake his little fist at us, we're ready to give him such a bite he'll wish he'd kept his hand in his pocket. So I have these beautiful like wall uh, sconces right here that I got from a vintage uh, Instagram seller as well. And she gave me some candles with it. So I just decided to put them right here. And then when we look a little more up, we're gonna have this like beautiful golden flower kind of like sticker that I put on this wall. It didn't finish all the way there. I got this from like Amazon. I need to buy another sticker, but I decided not to because I'm not going to stay in the studio. Shocker, I'm moving very <laughs> soon. I'm really excited about the new place and of course I'll take you guys along. Thank you guys so much for listening and seeing my apartment. I hope you guys liked it and see you guys on the next apartment tour. Bye! Bye. 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 Bye.